I think it's recording. <laughs> hey everybody, how's she going today? Well, we're uh, in the 4640 here because uh, I just got done harrowing at Grandpa's here uh, about an hour ago, so I, uh, I drove it home here. And I'm gonna hook up to the big stone picker and go start picking rocks, so. I got a helper with me right now. Can you wave? Can you wave at everybody? Can you smile? <laughs> Can you wave? There we go. <laughs> so we're gonna go hook up to the stone picker. And uh, that's the plan for right now. So I guess I'll talk to you guys here in a minute. clean my back window off before I uh, video picking rocks but we're gonna go have some supper because it's that time of the day right Pia it's supper time yeah <laughs> we're gonna go eat and then I'm gonna drive back to grandpa's there another uh, hour and a little bit one way with this and uh, hopefully pick a basket or two of rocks here tonight anyways so we'll see how she goes but I guess I'll talk to you here when we get there. Well, I just got here. You can see the sun's gone, so I don't have uh, too long to pick rocks before it gets dark, but I figured I'll, uh, God damn it, those are bright, eh? I figured I'll slam a few of them through here just so you can uh, see how everything works. I got good lights. I mean, it'll be easy to see them, but until I gotta drive around to find the next rock, that'll be the issue, but. So I gotta pull this out here. Oh boy, eh? There it is. Pull that out. Lay it up there. And we're good to go. <coughs> See how everything wants to work. One thing I did here, like I've got it slung all the way over so the stone picker sticks out farther. I've got a 1000 to 540, because this uh, stone picker runs 540, but you put that adapter on, because there's no need for uh, the tractor to be revved up to 2000 RPM, or all 2100 RPM to make PTO speed, just to run a stone picker. So this way you can run the tractor basically at an idle, and you still get your RPMs you need there. And uh, I mean, if there's not many rocks, They'll shut the stone picker off in between uh, well, while you're driving around looking. And then if your tractor is at an idle, when you shut the picker off, well, you can rev the tractor up and get a little bit of speed going while you're looking for the next rock that way, so. Alrighty. Some asshole got the tractor stuck harrowing this morning. Friggin' mud all over it now. <laughs> So this is going to be kind of tricky, holding the camera and running the lever and steering, but I'll, uh, I'll do my best just for you guys, so. Oh, it's going to be a good gear. How about we try B3? We got our first candidate lined up right ahead of us here, so. that. Isn't that just priceless how nice that works? <laughs> so, we'll put her around here and see if we can find a few more before it's dark. See if we can make a basket or so. Well, even if it's not a full basket, I'll, uh, I will, uh, dump it anyway so you guys can 
see how high it lifts because uh, quite a few people were curious about this big old girl here so I see another big one coming up here so a couple big ones I think actually oh maybe not that's just some stubble I'll see what she thinks of this big bastard right here Look at that. Fucking just fires her right in there. Bunch of little ones here. Look at that. What a fun job. Don't you wish you could run around like this on a couple thousand acres? Puttering around, looking for rocks. I know there's some people say they uh, pick rocks by hand, so let me tell you. If you pick this 170 acres by hand, You'd probably start when you're 20 years old and you might get done by the time you were 60, so. <laughs> well, I'll cruise around here till I find a few more. And uh, when I find them, I'll talk to you then. Well, I picked a few rocks on the uh, way to the corner over here. His uh, grandpa's gonna come pick me up with uh, my truck, as he was out here harrowing with the 4440 while I used the 5020 there today. Antoine was busy setting up a fuel tank at his place, so he never came out. But So uh, when I went home with this, Grandpa went home back to his place with the, my half ton, so. God damn it, that's a big rock there, I tell ya. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not gonna knock her all the way back in, but. Anyway, so uh, he's going to come pick me up here now with the truck. But uh, I've got a few rocks on here. It's getting uh, pretty darn hard to tell where rocks are. I, like I said, I picked a few on the way across here. But I knew that great big one was over here because I uh, pulled it out with the blade on the 5020. Flipped it up on top of the ground. So I knew where it was, but there's lots of other ones. But... It's getting, it looks a lot brighter on the uh, phone screen here than what it actually is, but it's getting uh, a little bit too hard to uh, tell what's rocks and what's just stubble, so. I'm gonna go dump this thing, show you how that works, and then uh, that'll probably be it for this evening, so. I'm just gonna whip over to the slough here and uh, find a nice, place that looks all right to take a dump <laughs> and uh, I'll uh, try and dump the majority of them in the same place anyway so you don't have little rock piles all over the place that way if one day a guy has a backhoe or a track hoe you only have a few places to go around to to go and uh, bury rock piles you don't have a little pile in every single slough that way so most of these sloughs have uh, rock piles going on them already from grandpa here anyways over the years that he's been farming it so so you can't really see by that little caster wheel in the back there just spun around into its unloading position There she all goes. There. And just like that, 
We're ready to go pick some more rocks. Oh, no. well, sorry about that. My phone just ran out of uh, storage space for new videos, but you can see that tire flip around back there, the caster. So, anyway, I see the lights of Grandpa there coming to pick me up. So, I'm just gonna. Zoom over to the where the rest of everything's parked. I am uh, quite a ways away from the road because I don't like being too close because that's when everyone comes and steals your fuel and fucks around with your machinery and shoots them full of holes and everything else around this countryside. So no one's got any respect for anything anymore. So I'm keeping everything uh, way, way far away from the road anyways. So I guess I'm... Uh, I'm gonna shut her down because I can't see anymore. Tomorrow I'll bring the GoPro out and it'll be uh, a little, little easier for me to video picking rocks that way because I'll have both hands. So that seems uh, turned out all right there the last time. So anyway, if you want to see more of this and to see seeding and everything else I've got in store for you for the rest of the year and you're not subscribed already, make sure you do so. For the rest of you, make sure you hit that like button and uh, We'll talk to all you guys here in the next one.